Hi, this is Greg Herter. I want to welcome you back to the third video in this three-part video series on how to make the year ahead your best year ever. In this video, I'm going to share with you some very practical things that you need to put into place so that you can achieve the goals that you've set for yourself. Now, failure to think about some of these simple but critically important things is why most people fail to accomplish the goals that they know they are capable of actually achieving. And they fail to live the life that they always wanted, the life that they dreamed of. In the first video, I shared with you three key questions to ask before you start the goal setting process. Those questions will serve as the starting line for making this your best year ever. Now, if you've not watched that video or completed the Values Clarification Worksheet, go back and watch and complete that worksheet now. In the second video, I shared with you the importance of having balance in your life and gave you a Wheel of Life exercise for you to do. Now, I want to congratulate you on making it this far. If you have watched the first two videos, downloaded the forums, and done the homework I gave you, you have already put yourself in the top 10% of doers and you've started down a path that can change your life forever. I know that it changed my life dramatically. As a young man, when I had an opportunity to go to work for the amazing Jim Rohn, I jumped at the opportunity. But I did drive Jim a little nuts. I was a nonstop question machine. I wanted the secrets of life and I wanted them now. One of the questions that I asked Jim was about goal setting. I wanted to know why I accomplished some of my goals but failed to accomplish others. He said, Greg, I will teach you how to set and accomplish all of your goals, but only if you are willing to be patient and go through a process that allows me to help you. And Jim said, Greg, I'm going to ask you to do a number of exercises as I go through and teach you. Some of the things you will not understand or even enjoy doing, but unless you do them and treat them seriously, when I finally do teach you the key on how to set and achieve your goals, you won't do what is needed unless you have done every step I ask you along the way. So again, if you have not done the exercises from the first two videos, stop right now and go back and do them. If you don't, you're only cheating yourself. And I promise you aren't going to get value from going ahead in this video. If you're looking for shortcuts, you can also stop now because I don't have any shortcuts or magic pills. Now, I do have some information that has made a huge difference in my life and the lives of many people that I've shared this information with. But you have to be willing to take action on the information. It's going to make you a little uncomfortable. You're going to have to treat it seriously, though. If you really want to get value from this, I know it'll make a huge difference. So pause the video. All right, welcome back. Now that you have a clear idea of exactly what your core values are, you know what is truly most important to you in your life. And you also have a good idea of how balanced your life is. And you know the areas in your life that you really need to work on. So now I want to share with you the basic outline for setting and achieving every goal that you set so that you can truly live the life you have always dreamed of. Once you have mastered this, you'll realize it's even better than winning the lottery because you will have the self-confidence and internal belief that you can accomplish anything that you truly desire. Jim taught the first part of this formula to me. Then over the last 30 years, in reading every book I could find on setting and achieving goals, goal achievement, personal development, I refined that system. Then, in my public seminars, I started teaching goal setting and getting feedback about what worked and what did not. 
if you will follow the process I'm going to lay out. I know it will help you set and achieve any goal that you really want to achieve. Now, you have to do more than just think about your goals. You have to do more than just write them down. You actually have to take action on them. So I want to get right to the meat. I want to give you the five-step process, the five-step system that I have found turns goals into reality. The first step is to figure out exactly where you are right now by looking at and learning from your past. Now, this can be challenging at times, but we've got to look at our life and figure out how to learn from it. Many of the exercises that Jim had me do was to force me to look at some of the mistakes I'd make in the past that I found myself just repeating over and over again. And you've got to learn how to look at that so that now you can learn from the past to avoid repeating it. Now, we know this is true, but most of us don't take the time to really look at it. But it makes such a huge difference. Now, the second step is that you have to learn how to tap into your full potential as a human being. You have to understand your own strengths and weaknesses. But most importantly, you have to trust in your own talents. I've had the good fortune to meet incredible people from around the world, and what I found is that all of them, no matter how successful, have some insecurities. They all have some strengths and weaknesses. We all have our own set of talents. Where we get into trouble is when we say, gosh, I wish I had that person's talent that person's. But if you trust that you have a unique set of gifts, that you have value, it can make such a huge difference. And you've really got to get in tune with that before you actually start setting your goals. Now, the third step is actually the goal-setting process. Now, it's very important to think through how you are setting your goals. Now, there's been a wide variety of acronyms, acronyms about goal setting. You probably heard about SMART goals and a variety of things. And I found that there's just a few simple things that you really need to think about. First of all, remember that you can only accomplish clear, actionable goals. And that's what I found is absolutely critical. Now, when I ask people in a goal setting workshop to actually set goals, at public seminars, people write things down that don't help. They, I want to make more money. What is more money? See, I asked Jim these same questions. And Jim said, Greg, you know, give me a goal that you really think is important. I well, you know, want a goal I want to make. I, I want to make more money. And he said, well, Greg, that's easy. And he said, Greg, I can take care of that right now. And he reached across the desk and he gave me a dollar. He said, Greg, now you have more money. Goal's accomplished. I said, well, no, I want more money than a dollar. He said, well, how much more? I said, well, I don't know. He said, well, then you're never going to be able to get there. He said, that's an unachievable goal. You have to have clarity. Then he said, Greg, here's the next thing to understanding how to set goals. Why is that more important to you? Why is making more money important to you? He says, why is that critical? And it took me a while to figure out some of those answers. But see, Jim said, Greg, until you understand exactly what your goal is and why it's important to you, you don't even have a chance of actually achieving it. Now, the fourth step to setting and achieving your goals is to turn your goals into a game plan. Now, this is where so many people fail. They have great goals that inspire them, that get them excited. But they don't take the time to take that goal list and turn it into a game plan. A game plan is what turns goals into reality. 
This is the component that makes such a huge difference. Now, the great thing is it's not that hard, but it makes such a big difference. The fifth and final step is what Jim called taking action. You've actually got to go to work on your goals. Now, I believe not only do you have to take action, but you also have to put a number of little support systems in place to set you up for success. One of the things that I found is that, you know, <clears throat> Jim actually said, Greg, it's okay to tell people about your goals, but I found that in some cases that can be counterproductive. I found that you have to be selective about who you are telling your goals to. And you only want to share your goals with people that you know are going to support you and encourage you. If you share it with people that are going to discourage you, it becomes much harder. Now, these five steps are pretty straightforward. It's a pretty straightforward system. Now, the core elements of all of them can be found in most of the pages of pulled into personal development and goal accomplishment books and programs that have ever been written. The question always comes up then, Greg, why doesn't everyone use this formula to set and achieve their goals so they can truly live the life that they want to live? Now, Jim Rohn was asked, why don't people who attend your seminars take action on what you teach? Now, Jim's answer was that this was one of the mysteries of the universe. Why some people would sit through one of his seminars and walk out and change their lives. And one would leave with good intentions. They intended to make changes, but they never actually did anything with the information. Personally, I don't think it's quite such a mystery. I think that for most of us, we understand the value of personal development. We want to learn how to set and achieve one's goals. But life gets in the way. There's all these urgent things going on. There's job responsibilities and spouse responsibilities and kids and all these things. And we find ourselves get caught up in the day-to-day -day living of life. And what's really important, those critical things to think about what we want, our goals, our dreams, our vision, always seem to get pushed into the background. All the things that are truly important, the things that can change your life for the better, are never urgent. And so the reality is there never seems to be enough time to get to them. But now we drift. We go through and the years go by at an incredibly rapid rate and we get discouraged. So take a moment with me and ask yourself, what is the long-term cost in terms of your life if you don't go to work on your own personal development, on figuring out how to set and achieve your goals? Now, if you're living a totally happy life, on your terms, enjoying every minute of your life, then there's no need to listen to what I have to say. But if you feel like you want more out of your life, if you have some dreams that you would really like to accomplish, maybe it's an income goal, maybe it's improving your relationships, having more time off, or maybe it's feeling like you are in control of your life instead of being controlled by everyone and everything around you. If you want the confidence to know that you can set and achieve any goal that you truly want to achieve, I would like to invite you to join me on my online training program on how to set and achieve your goals. In this powerful program, I will walk you through the five steps to setting and accomplishing your goals. And I will do for you what Jim Rohn did for me. 
I'll be your mentor. I'll force you to look at things differently. And for me, this was truly life-changing. I know it can be life-changing for you as well. In this powerful program, I will walk you through the five steps to setting and accomplishing all of your goals. We'll look at each one, and we'll go through a series of exercises so that you really understand it. So that now, as you sit down and set your goals and go to work on them, you know without a doubt you'll be able to accomplish every goal you set for yourself. This can truly be life-changing in so many ways. Now, you may be wondering, Greg, what does it cost? Well, I still remember when Jim suggested to me that I start going to one personal development seminar every month. I said, Jim, what will that cost me? And Jim looked at me and he said, Greg, what do you think it would be worth to you to grow personally and professionally, to become a better communicator, more sophisticated, better educated, so that every area of your life is different? And I said, well, Jim, when you say it that way, I can see that it would be worth a lot to me to go to a seminar every month to improve myself. And I'm here to tell you today that investing in yourself, in your own personal growth, is without a doubt the best investment you can ever make. Your own self-development is truly the most valuable investment you can make. I have found that formal education gets you a job. Self-education can make you a fortune. It can help you grow. It can help you do whatever it is that you really want. So what do you think it would be worth to you to know that you could set and achieve any goal that you truly wanted to achieve? I have a feeling it would be worth thousands, maybe tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or more. The good news is that it's not going to cost you that much. Now, you can go to my website, Greg Herter's Goal Achievement System dot com and you can enroll in my Goal Achievement System anytime for $495. It's always there for you. But because you've taken the time to watch these three videos, you've done your homework, and I know you are a person of action, I want to make a very special opportunity to you right now. You can sign up for a special price of only $197. The reason I do that is I want you to take action. I don't want you to postpone it. And I know if I don't help you take that action. Now, this program comes with a full 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the course. And if you don't feel like it was worth at least 10 times as much as you paid for it, you have 30 days to get all of your money back. Sometimes people say, well, Greg, are you concerned that somebody can sign up and take your course, get all the training, and then ask for their money back? Now, I know some people will do that, but those are the people looking for shortcuts. They will never do the work called for in the course. So I know that's not you. This is a course that I know is truly empowering. I know that it can change your life. So if this makes sense to you, if you feel like it's right for you, then go ahead and press the, press the Add to Cart button now. I don't want any unhappy or unsure money. If you are serious about learning how to set and achieve your goals moving forward, then I know this is the program for you. Now, if you're totally happy with everything in your life, I hope you've enjoyed these videos and gotten some value from it. No matter what you decide, I wish you great success. I hope that you live a life that you absolutely love. And for those of you that do want to take your life to the next level, want to grow, and learn how to set and achieve every goal you set for yourself, sign up for this program, and I'll look forward 
to working with you as we go through the process. I will see you there.